Good Tuesday morning. We are talking about heat. We have a heat advisory today and it's going to be hot and humid for a couple more days, but then a taste of some September weather. Well, in time for September, actually, but we want to talk most importantly for the United States is tropical weather. Laura became a hurricane overnight and could be quite the problem here in the Gulf of Mexico over the coming couple of days. Here you can see Laura churning there in the Caribbean. Uh, it left Cuba overnight and became that category one hurricane and now really expected to strengthen. The Gulf of Mexico waters are extraordinarily warm, 85 to 90 degree water temperatures, which is just ideal fuel for hurricanes. It's really starting to get itself organized. We watch those clusters of storms in the center uh, very carefully to see uh, all that organization starting to take place. Hurricane hunters going in these storms constantly uh, as we head into uh, the next couple of days and is expected to make landfall as a major hurricane now uh, somewhere near the Louisiana Texas border models still differing somewhat on the track so we're gonna have to watch this very closely because Houston could be uh, in the target zone of Laura but uh, again the big news overnight it became a hurricane and is expected to uh, achieve major hurricane status which is category three or higher as it makes landfall. And as I mentioned, the model's sort of differing on the exact track of it. Uh, here is uh, the uh, European model. I'm gonna put the wind gusts on here first because uh, that's obviously one of the concerns, storm surge and very heavy rainfall another. But uh, we're looking at wind gusts that could be up to 140, 150 miles an hour with uh, Laura as it makes landfall. And the European model does put it closer to Houston. Uh, this is Galveston and Houston, this bay here that you see. There aren't cities on the map, uh, but where I've got my arrow pointed here and just to the northwest of the worst winds, that is uh, late tomorrow evening into tomorrow night, the worst winds could brush Houston and then again near the Louisiana Texas border. But if we switch over to the American model, you get a little bit of a different scenario. It's a little further east and I know it doesn't look like a huge difference, but if you're in Houston there right on that edge, that's a big difference in wind and also storm surge and uh, some of the high, heaviest rainfall amounts. But there is gonna be a ton of rain to speak of as well with Laura, which is typically the case with these tropical systems. We're talking about up to a foot of rain. You see in purple here, that's up to a foot of some uh, rainfall amounts out of uh, that storm system. And of course, that's an area that is prone to flooding anyway, uh, pretty flat areas. European model, a little lighter on the rainfall amounts, but either way, we're talking six to 12 inches of some heavy rain and uh, some devastation somewhere in that uh, Gulf region. And we're just starting to get to the peak of hurricane season. We do have a heat advisory for this afternoon because of that humidity, along with temperatures that once again are gonna be near 90. We topped out at 89 yesterday, 91 on Sunday. It's gonna be very close to those same readings today, but a little more humid today than uh, some of those days as well. 72 or so for the dew points, could see some mid 70s dew points. So that means peak heat indices across Southern Minnesota are gonna be pretty high, about 95 or 96 this afternoon. Uh, but some places in Southern Minnesota like Mankato, Redwood Falls could see heat indices as high as near 100 degrees. So the Southern part of the state, including most of the Metro is included in that heat advisory. Uh, for those uh, very hot and humid conditions and then we'll see that heat break finally after tomorrow uh, but it is going to come with a few thunderstorms as well showers and thunderstorms mostly will be confined in northern minnesota today uh, we'll see just a few pop-up isolated storms pretty dry here in the southern part of the state and then same thing during most of the day during the day tomorrow uh, again northern minnesota but later in the day could see some storms develop in the central part of the state that could drift southeast if they can hold together but it does look as though most of that does stay to the north and then some uh, more isolated storms during the day on Thursday. Better chance all the models agree on more scattered thunderstorms on Friday as that cool front comes through and that's going to drop those dew points significantly here. We're talking about dew points that'll be down into the uh, 50s again for Saturday and Sunday and some cool air highs only in the uh, 70s Saturday and Sunday and uh, models kind of dropping the temperature even further just in time for the start of September which is already Tuesday next week, a week from today, may not get out of the 60s for much of the state. So get ready for that. I know some of you are welcoming that news.